Hello, everyone, and welcome to Canva Corner. I am Matt Emerson, the co-founder of WBNL Coaching. Today, we are going to talk about effects that you can use on images and backgrounds in Canva. I love what you can do with this, this, uh, these tools, and it really can make your images pop. Um, and then we're, we're really going to jump on my favorite effect that they're, uh, they, they really launched last year, and that's the, the ability to remove a background uh, from an image. And that has been very elusive to people in marketing. You had to usually be a Photoshop pro or at least have Photoshop to be able to remove those backgrounds, but it can be done in Canva and it can be done completely uh, quickly with just a, you know, probably the snap of a finger, well, technically the click of a mouse, and you uh, can remove those backgrounds. Uh, before we get started, though, I want to, to remind you to smash that like button. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel and um, click that notification bell while you're at it because we drop Canva tips every single week. So as always, let's get started at the home page of Canva. Uh, if you are not a Canva user, I do highly recommend using this in your business. Um, it can you There's a free version of Canva that you can use that you can use uh, to really enhance your, your image. And then the pro Canva, very inexpensive every month. Uh, 1295 to or 1495 one of those two to uh to to have additional tools and different additional images and videos that you can use well worth the money there is a link up in our uh our show notes here to uh get you to all that information so i'm going to actually use time management today so not only am i going to show you these effects but i'm also going to build the youtube uh thumbnail for uh this video that we're going to put up so we're to in order to do that i'm going to to go up here to the search bar. I'm going to uh, going to click on YouTube thumbnails. It's going to obviously pull up a lot of different designs that we can use here. I'm going to make one from scratch though. So let's just go ahead and open this up. All right. First thing I'm going to do is put a background into this image. I am a wanderer. I always love to put uh, images from some of my traveling uh, around into our national parks, which are my favorite places to go to rejuvenate, reconnect and realign. Uh, this is one of my favorite images uh, from Yosemite National Park. If you are a Yosemite uh, uh, traveler, you will recognize this image as a uh, image from the tunnel view. And so we're just going to go on here, stretch this image out a little bit for the background. Now we're going to go up to effects, which is the top uh, choice here, or the first choice up in the, the menu. We're going to click into here. There's a lot of different things you can do here with effects. There's duotones. I, these are very cool backgrounds that just change your backgrounds to different colors. A lot of different options here that you can utilize. There's a effect called bad TV kind of cool. Now, once again, you're going to always use these for backgrounds. I can't imagine that you would use this just as a straightforward thing, but who knows, you know, what you want to do, but you can use this as a background. And then you have all the other tools available. You can make it lighter and, and darker. You can move it up and down. You can, or, you know, to a different layer, a lot of different choices. Here's a thing, uh, uh, a uh, effect called rerun, uh, effect called tube, uh, rewind. So you just get these weird little augmented effects, kind of interesting. Here's a color mix one. I really think this one's really super cool. This little rainbow color here, uh, one called Arctic. They're really artsy things that you can do to pictures that you don't have to go in and do all this stuff to the background. You can just simply choose this super easy and a great way to, to make your images stand out and be a little bit different. Here is a, a, a effect called glitch, which just puts, you know, multiple images of your image on top of each other. Uh, it's one called Radiate, Trace, a lot of different effects that you can use that really change your change your pictures. These screen images are kind of interesting too. So it really almost pixelated pixelates it out to look like, uh, you know, something really modern, modern art uh, uh, looking. This is all totally pixelated, a little pointillism there. This one is actually called uh, uh, Semi-Tone, but I like it because it almost looks like a fingerprint uh, on the back of the image. So once again, you can go in, in here and, and um, you know preview all of these there is a section called slice so this one's called chip and i don't know if you can really see it there in the screen but there's like it, it cuts your picture in half and it slightly moves the the uh information over this one's called completely sliced obviously this this uh, uh version is called minced there's one called torn just all all sorts of different options for this particular thumbnail though for youtube i think we're going to go up here to our color mix Let's pick this. I like that orange one. Let's pick this green. That green, I always think, uh, is a real big uh, pop-out color. Jan O'Brien, other co-founder of WBNO Coaching, loves purple. So let's go ahead and use this one as our background. So 
once again, there's a lot of options in here that really can make your images and backgrounds stand out as you're doing your design. But let's talk about my favorite thing, and that's the background remover. This is a thing, a, when they released this feature, I was in hog heaven because I always wanted to be able to remove uh, images and remove pictures from the backgrounds um, or the backgrounds from the images. And now you can do it with so easily. So let's throw in a picture here that, um, that I, nah, not one of those, let's throw in an upload that I have actually uploaded to the system. And this is a picture that I've used before on thumbnail. So let's put it on in there. You drop the picture on in, go up to effects once again, click background, background remover, and it'll slowly think about what it, what is, is, you know, looking as the background and what is not. Occasionally you can see a, a uh, error came up there that says that we're having trouble. That comes up occasionally. It's a little glitch inside their system, but I've never seen it not go ahead and remove the background from the image. So there you are. So now here I am. I'm going to enlarge myself here. Not the best picture of me, but you know what? It's going to do for YouTube and it's certainly going to um, work. Now, what happened here, as you can see, is it took my other uh, effect off. So you, you probably want to do this in the reverse order. Uh, but So let's go back here to effects and we're going to go back to color mix. And we're gonna change that background back to that original kind of dual, dual tone color. All right, so we have my background removed. We have the color change. Let's add a little text in here. We will add the heading. Okay. Remove backgrounds without Photoshop. Sorry, Adobe. We love you. We love Adobe, but you know what? It's a pretty cool feature make that larger because obviously we want that to stand out a little bit now we'll change this down to where that is the copy let's make that a little bit bigger let's go up to 96 is that too big let's just see here i don't think that's too big come on we want it to stand out and i'm going to show you how to do a quick easy drop shadow on that take this verbiage you're going to go up and you're going to hit the copy you're going to make another version of that. And this one we're going to turn into a purple for a background. Then we're going to go in here and we're going to move this right over that. We are going to click the down button three times. I'm going to click the right button three times. And then we're going to position this backwards. And now there's a nice little drop shadow. So it makes the word stand out a little bit up here in the green. Um, but also you can still see it just fine down here in the darker part of the image. So there you have it. Let's throw in our WBNO logo heck. What, what the heck, right? Let's throw that in here. Let's not throw the whole logo in. Let's just put the icon. We love our globe. Let's throw that in. Right, cha. Let's just put it over here. And there you have it. We have a YouTube <laughs> thumbnail for this particular video. We've shown you how to do some pretty artistic stuff with your backgrounds in photos and actually how to remove a background from a photo as well. Incredible stuff in Canva. You can do things so quickly as you can see here. And, uh, you know, you want to go down the rabbit hole a little bit and play around with it. But, uh, you know, don't, don't get stuck in the details. Get it out. Get your stuff going. And, uh, uh, what we say every week, you know, make sure that you get out there and be creative. Once again, like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell and be forever wandering, but not lost.